got all the hooks baited up with pieces of brim. Oh, I pulled him off. I pulled him off. Oh yeah, he's on there. Be a good one. That's a good oh. one too. That's another good one. There's pulling, they're fighting. Oh, that's Ooh. a good size one. Dude, that's a freaking big one. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. And boy, has it been a long time since we started the video in the Walmart parking lot. When was the last time we did this even? I don't even Maybe know. Maybe the island shopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you that was the last time. Got my mask with me. Don't worry, we will be throwing it on before we go inside. We may take it off to talk. I don't know. Just depends on how frisky I'm feeling. But we are not at the ranch today. Well, I mean, obviously we're in Walmart. We're gonna be going back to the ranch with some of the goodies that we're hopefully gonna find here. As you guys know, we got the old pond and we've caught, we've been able to catch some bass out of it, which is great. I mean, we're bass fishermen, that's what we do. But there's also supposedly catfish in here and big ones at that, ones that we might even be able to eat if we be are so inclined. So we're gonna need some gear to go in here to get some stuff to hopefully catch some of these catfish. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Let's go check it out. All right, to accomplish this mission, we are gonna get the good old fashioned trot line, but we're not gonna be running this in the traditional sense that we've been doing it. We're gonna change it up with a little bit of a twist today. Now, one thing I know about this trot line is it does have everything you need, which is cool. It's got the line, it's got the leaders, it's got the clips, it's got hooks, but the hooks are not very good. Okay, so we're gonna need to get some upgraded. Let's see, that's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll get like, get a few of these just to get some good hooks on there. Then, we can upgrade the hooks. We're gonna need a couple, what I call D-rings. This thing says a snap hook, but I call it a D-ring, but gonna need a couple of those. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna run three. Three of these little contraptions that I'm thinking of. Now, we really only need a couple more things. Don't mind me, just checking worms. That lady was uh, very confused. We are gonna need some night crawlers, not for the catfish, but that's a whole nother part of this equation that we haven't quite explained yet. But it's gonna make sense in just a moment. Well, of course, Andrew had to use the bathroom, so he's just disappeared, but we got the first round of stuff. Although, I was told by a very friendly Walmart employee and subscriber, big shout out to you, man, who I just met, they don't sell PVC pipes, which is a very crucial part of this, so we're gonna have to go somewhere like maybe Lowe's or something to get a couple PVC pipes, but we're so close to fishing, I can almost taste it. Okay, now, we, it's actually the next day. We got kind of tied up doing some things yesterday, but it's now time to kind of build the, not, I mean, kind of the most important part, not really, but it's, it's something new that we had not done before yet. And that is making these little, turning these little PVC pipes into basically fishing rods that are gonna sit on the bank and hold the line steady for us, but not being so tight, like tying it to a tree where the fish can pull off of this trot line. So it's got a little bit of a bend in it, like a like a fishing rod, you know? Like if something gets on there, it's gonna it's got a little bit of a bend, but it's, it's, it's strong enough to keep pressure on the fish too. So we picked up a lot of little tricks when we went and visited Mr. Flair. So this is a lot of stuff that I learned from him, but I have seen other people do as well. See, I just need one that's a little bit bigger than this. This is basically going to be our line holder, this D-ring right here. But I'm going to have to drill a hole in the top. That's probably close right there. Yeah, that's probably the one. But maybe we should just go for the big one just in case. Yeah. Huh? Just go, just do it. The big, that's the biggest one in there. Plus, it'll be more fun with my new drill. This is never used this drill before, by the way. So, this thing's got some dang power to it now. Oh, oh, hold on, boy. Oh, hold on. There we go. Mm. There it is. Okay. What? Oh boy. It's just so slick. There's probably a much better way to do this. I think that's a tiny, a tiny pipe. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna put it on two. Go ahead and get some power in there, mm. you know? Woo. There we go. Let's make sure these clip on. Oh, I made it too low. I mean, that'll work, I guess. Oh no. May have to bore it out just a, just a little bit more. We can do that though. I think the idea is to get it like right there. You know what I mean? So you can just clip it right on the top. Oh, nice. But we've learned that lesson now. 
<laughs> We've learned that lesson now. There we go. See? So, boom. So now we'll have our trot line. We'll stick this in the ground. The ground's nice and wet, too, so hopefully it'll go. We'll just kind of shove it into the ground like this until we get it nice and sturdy. Then the trot line will be on this. We'll throw it out into the pond with a weight on one side. And then this thing will just kind of hold it in place. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so that's too close to the edge. Right. Okay, well, let's see what this one does. It's probably going to do the same thing. That one kind of worked. Yeah, it didn't. Oh, it's kind of cracked. Yeah. Okay, so that's too close. So let's go back to our original plan. So we do need a bigger PVC pipe next time, I think. Yeah, for sure. Bigger, more, more sturdy. Yeah, it's fine. We got it. We're learning here. Now we've got our, uh, now we've got our fishing rods good, our bank line, trot line, fishing rods good. Laying out the trot line, kind of getting it piece by piece put together with hooks and clips. Just to show you guys kind of why we're changing hooks, I mean, the, this is the hook that comes in the pack. I mean, it's just kind of a standard hook. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's okay. It's not like super sharp. We're going to replace it with a slightly bigger, but as you can see, there's a different shape here. There's, it's a circle hook. And the tip right there is really what, like that's super sharp compared to that. So we're going to replace all these hooks that comes with it with those circle hooks that we bought. It's just going to help our hookup ratio. It's no doubt in my mind. Um, it's probably also going to increase our snagging ratio, <laughs> but that's why we're going to put out three different lines. That way, if two of them get snagged, at least one of them will maybe be in the right spot and get some fish. All right, this is kind of the uh, end process of everything that we just did. That is what you, how many is this, 25? Is that how many hooks yeah. it comes with? Yeah, yeah. But we, of course we replaced them with our own hooks, but got 25 liters and then 25 little snaps right there. They're gonna go on our main lines. We took the big main line, stretched it out all the way across. It's 150 feet, but we cut it into three sections. And uh, that way we've got our three little polesies all ready to go. Let's get them, dude. Ready, my guy? Look yeah. at the camera real quick. Look, I just look so much like Badger. You should put a picture of Badger right uh, up on the screen right now right. in the editing process. Yeah. Just so people know why we're calling you that. Because you're saying I look like a drug addict? Well, I mean, you know, he was a lovable character on the show. Now, what he did in his free time, that was his business, because this is America. I haven't even seen the show. Well, that's even better, because once you see it and you see the guy that plays Badger, you're going to be like, oh my God, <laughs> that's me. It's kind of a roast? or No, not oh, really. I mean, okay. he's just, he's a funny character on the show, but he's a very lovable character that people seem to like his character. All right, cool. And I mean, yeah, he does meth, but he's also a good, he's a good friend of the main character, so that's fine. Anyways, we need to get this stuff loaded up. We need to get down to the pond. Uh, the sun's coming up and we've got some other stuff we need to do today. Plus we want to let these things soak. So we really need to get them down there, get them in the water. And we're gonna also gonna have to catch some bait. That's all another aspect of this video. Gotta get some brim, because that seems to be the fish's main diet out here is brim, whether it's catfish, bass, or whatever else is out here. They all eat brim. Here we go. <laughs> it's in there now, baby. So it ain't gonna get pulled out. You know what I mean? Like yeah, no matter good. how hard something pulls, it's not gonna pull it out, but it'll keep it tight. But it won't be so much where it's gonna yank it out of his mouth. Oh, that's as far as that one's going. There we go. Now it's in there. Yeah. This angle looks pretty cool with the way you do that. Is that gonna stay? Well, you gotta find that right spot, you know? I mean, they'll all stay. They're not gonna get pulled out. There you go. I just wanna get it down in the earth. See, that one's good. Okay. Catch some brim. Charlie, are you hungry? Jeez. 
Him and the brim are about on the same level as far as hunger goes. There, there are so many brim in this pond, it is insane. When I say like thousands, it's not even exaggerating. It could be tens of thousands or even, I don't even know. Come come get closer to this, Andrew. See if, I know it's hard without a polarizer lens, but just look at this feeding frenzy. This Gosh, dude, that's with crazy. This bread. I mean, we'll put a bread ball on a hook in just a second. We won't even need the night crawlers. Some and we'll catch as many as we want to. Oh God, that was a big one that just came up. He just like punched eight of the small ones in the face and like took that piece of bread. Charlie's about to eat them all. Yeah, Charlie's about to eat them. Look, they don't even care that there's a giant predator right there. <laughs> Look, they all, get, they all just got scared. I bet you a big catfish or something just came in the area. Probably big, bass, Big man. bass is just going to come up and just annihilate one of these. All right, let's uh, toss a little bread ball out there, eh? See if they'll uh, swallow this hook like they are pieces of bread. Bread's really hard to bait on a hook, by the way. I don't know if you've ever done this before. It's kind of tough to do. Look at Charlie. He's just he's going ass up on these things. Look, the hook. look they're attacking. Look at Charlie. Charlie's freaking, you're messing my dang fishing up, Charlie. Stop it. He's trying to chase the bread down. They're attacking the bobber. Look at this. Oh, I got my bread. Gosh darn it. Maybe the maybe the night crawler will be better. Maybe it'll stay on there better. These chartreuse worms are so crazy looking. I don't know. Their blood is literally like chartreuse. They're all still hanging out right there. Look at them. I mean, they are just, they're attacking the bobber. Attacking the worm. They're so small though, it's probably hard for them to get the hook in their mouth. What if you just is, barely let the worm into the water? I mean, yeah, it's just, the hook's just really small, man. Yeah, that's for sure. There we go. Good call, Badger. You're always the voice of reason. <laughs> So here we go. We got one little brim right here. And there you go. That's what we're looking for right there, guys. That's going to be good bait. Whoop. Oh, you're the luckiest brim ever, buddy. Oh, he's got it. Nice. Yeah, he got it. He hammered it. <laughs> as much as a bluegill can hammer a worm, he's actually got a little bit more on him. He's got a little bit more meat on him right there. It's a good looking little fish. Oh, he's not sure about that. <laughs> you see the look on his face? He's like, dude, he looks at the camera with, like, he's really scared of the camera. Yoinked him. They're starting to progressively get a little bit more colorful too as we catch them. We've got what 25 hooks on that on these three trot lines. So if we if we cut these things in half, we'll need like like what 12, 13. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this a little bit longer. I'm not going to show you guys this whole process because obviously it's kind of painstaking and it's going to take a little while. But, oh, dang <laughs> just it. throw it, man. Well, gosh. I mean, I'm just, if I lift them any harder, they're going to go flying. Just throw them in the air to me. <laughs> no. You pretty much did. There you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it because it's still on the hook. But Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys once we have dispatched these guys into pieces all right folks we got all the hooks baited up with pieces of brim as you can see maybe badger's overlaying a six shot right now and uh, now it's pretty simple one of us has to get in the canoe the old trusty canoe we mm -hmm. gotta come up with a name for that thing we're gonna use the heck out of that thing in this pond mm -hmm. and we've got our three rods sticking up so now we just we've already attached the line too so now all we have to do is literally stretch the line out with the canoe onto the pond while the other person is clipping on bait on all the little clip holders as the person in the canoe is stretching it out. So I think Badger's gonna get in the canoe, cause I did a bunch of canoe stuff last night, so he needs to get some canoe time in. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I'm gonna be on the bank clipping the baits on as he stretches the line out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's looking great. Just keep heading that way, but you're going, keep on going. Okay, now stop paddling for a second, just kind of drift. Just wanna make sure we don't get in this tree right off the bat which you are, <laughs> you're dragging the brush pile. <laughs> you're literally dragging the brush pile. Okay, now just now just drift for a minute. Ah! Oh God, it's on me. We're almost done with this one. Dude, I don't know why people do this. I honestly have no idea. I know it's a super effective way to catch fish. All right, give me like one hard paddle. Like one on each side so you go straight. Now, yeah, now you're good. Okay, well, I got a plan for the next one. All right. Okay, yeah, that's good. You're done. So just kind of paddle like 
paddle one two more times and then let it come off your side this one's just going to be that's good that's good go ahead and drop it that. yeah that's going to be perfect right there it's money 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 on to the next one i'm going to try preloading them this time and just see how that goes i'm thinking if i could get like half of them like i have right now I, honestly if i can keep it like this as slow as you're going i think we'll be fine yeah this is definitely the way yeah this is the way to do it badger okay you're good you can you can paddle all the spots you want to now i think this one's gonna catch catch one on every single hook because we're gonna be able to get it out there a lot further all right you can, you're, you're probably gonna drift to where it's tight now so you can just you're almost tight all right drop it money that's that's, that's a good looking line right there go, dude. that one's gonna catch them Woo! almost done you want this one instead of this yeah like to, to the like the opening of the point just so the wind doesn't blow it into the point nice. we're so good at this all right now you can stop and get ready to drop it get ready to drop it get ready to drop it you're tight you're tight you're tight yes get them nice and tangled there you go baby yes tangle them the catfish really like it when they're tangled we're gonna get one on there while i'm holding it <laughs> Oh, broken seat. Oh, God bless. That's the one he was talking about. Oh. Oh. All right, you're pretty much tight, so you just want to cut like straight across to the opening. Okay, yeah, you're tight. You're really tight. So just keep keep going a little bit more if you can, because the wind's. I think the wind's going to kind of blow it this way. So the further you can get out that way, the better. That should be good. Boom, baby. Woo. all right well we got three solid bank lines out we definitely figured out that baiting the entire line first when it's shorter because we cut it is definitely the way to go and then just kind of feeding it out to the person while they're stretching it out we thought we saw this first one already moving now it's definitely chilled out now but who knows there could be there could be multiple ones on there. it just may not realize they're hooked yet yeah that's kind of the thing with this trot line we're hoping get a few on there before they even realize they're hooked but i feel pretty confident about this don't you for sure man yeah i mean we know there's a ton of catfish they're hungry i'm just hoping that there's some other kind of fish in here too like a mystery species that we don't even know about or even a bass a bass could certainly get on a trot line but now is the part where we wait so we'll give them maybe a couple hours come back down here check the rods see if any of these rods are bent over all right guys it's been a couple hours we just came back we're already seeing the they keep saying the bobbers but the floats we keep seeing the floats that we put out they're moving a couple of them are twitching i feel like we have definitely fish on here god yeah we're gonna have to we'll check that one last because that <laughs> one's going crazy the dang rod's going rrr, rrr, rrr. let's pull this one in first what do you think man you think you think we have one on this one well and it's the next going question. against the wind so i would say oh yeah there's there's something it's pulling back how oh, many <laughs> how many do you think we have that's the real I don't question know. I've always wanted to do this and catch more than one. Oh yeah, something. There's oh there's there's pulling. They're fighting. Oh, that's Ooh. a good size one, dude. That's a freaking big one. Dude. Look at that one, dude. That's a, We've only got one, but look at the size of that guy. Oh my. God. Look at that. That's a big one, dude. And he's got a freaking tree. Look at the size of that guy. Let's get the rest of the line in. It's a good hook set too. Good hook set. Dang. See the rest of the bait's cleanly cleanly on the lines. Look at that guy, man. That's a freaking good one. Dang it, man. That's awesome. Oh, I got ants everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. Good thing I got, oh, buck spray on. They're all dying first. Man, if we were gonna eat some catfish tonight, this would be a good one. That would be a good one. Luckily for him, we just wanted to kind of see if there were some big ones in here. Oh, he's so slimy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, spine me. Yes. My God, my God. Oh, oh, he just spit at you, bro. Hey, look at that mouth. What is he, does he throw it up? I don't know. Must be squeezing him too hard. Let's get him back. Yay. Dang, he, bro. He was spitting at you. That you see that? Intense. He was vomiting right at you. Wow, okay. Dude, that was like a, that was like an eight. Yeah. Nine. That's a good one. Pushing and that thing. Do you see the head on that thing, bro? That was, that's gonna be a big. I mean, he's already a good sized catfish, but that's gonna be a big one. Look at that one, dude. <laughs> that pole is just wrecking. I think we've got a mondo on over there. So let's kind of we'll clean all this up after the fact. 
Or should we just throw it back out there? <laughs> it's still all the baits are good except for the one that had him. Well, nah, it's all screwed up. <laughs> we'll leave it right there for now. Let's go check the rest of them. All right, now this one, out of the three, this one has moved the least amount. Let's just see, see what we got here. Pulling, pulling, I'm not feeling anything. Not feeling anything. Man, this one might be empty, which is just crazy. It is crazy. Look, look, they're all still baited too. Wow, that is surprising. Wow. The hook pulled off that? Where? The hook pulled off that one. Oh, the hook pulled off. So we got pickpocketed on one of them. And maybe that one that has a hook in his face now told the rest of them to stay away from this thing. The, re awesome. the rest of them have bait. That's the crazy part. Charlie, it's not a living thing, bro. Calm down. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six hooks that still had bait on them. That's just crazy. Charlie, do not eat that. It's got a hook in it, guy. Come on, Charlie. This is the real good one right here, though, because this one, we put this one in the deepest water, and it's just going crazy, so there could be multiples on this one. Let's go see. All right, so we know this one's got something on it. Oh, wow, that feels... Jeez, I might be snagged. No. 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 Because you can see that there's something on that. Okay. I think we're snagged on something, though. Oh, I pulled him off. I pulled him off. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Oh, it feels good. Oh, man. Is it? Oh, I'm snagged again on the same dang thing I was just snagged on. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Come on, be good. Be a good one. That's a good oh. one, too. That's another good one. Just one, though. I thought it was going to be two, maybe. Come on, buddy. Ah! Dude, that's the same size. It's a good one, man. <laughs> yes. Look at those. That's a good size catfish, man. Oh, God, there's a hook in my ankle. <laughs> in my calf. Wow, this is crazy. Come in tight on this guy. Look at this guy. Look at my guy here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Listen to him. No, 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 no. What's a good way to hold these things? Am I not holding them right? Hold them by the end of the fin. I'm just kidding, it was a joke. What, oh, because of the spike right yeah. there? Dude, why would you say that? Yeah, I did think you I mean, I know it. you can hold them like this. They're just so strong. Right. Look at my guy right there. Mac, mac. Look at my guy. Look how big that joker is. These are gonna be some good sized catfish, man. Charlie, what do you think? Give me a smell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the catfish was like, oh, no, uh. You're not giving me to that dog. All right, buddy, get on out of here. I'm not gonna eat you today if you're lucky. You're lucky we're not eating you today. Wow. Let me rinse my hands off. Wow, that's crazy guys. I mean, I was talking to my neighbor earlier and I just love fishing. I love any type of fishing that's different, you know? I mean, we all use the rod, the reel, the lures, but when you do something different, it's kind of outside of the box like this, it's kind of like the least amount of work too. Like it's, there's a lot of preparation, the, the work, but now that we have the, we've got the rods made, got the D-rings, we've got the lines, we've got the hooks, Really, I mean, we can store these exactly as is now. And we could do this anytime we want to. We could try different baits out. We could, you know, do anything. We could try to catch bass on this thing with some live brim. There's so many different things we could do with these applications now that we have them built. But the best part is we just set them up and they stay there as long as you want them to. And those fish aren't going anywhere. I mean, so we had one on each one, right? Yeah. yeah. Because the, the third one broke off. Right. And what's probably happening, the reason why there's probably only one is because once that one figures out he's hooked, he starts making that map, map, map sound, which right. is like a danger sound. And the rest of the catfish probably stay away from that line yep. after that happens. So, but hey, we had, we were three for three, but we landed two of the fish. Those were some of the bigger catfish we've seen out of here too. Yeah. So that first one was massive. That could have been a 10 pound channel cat. Big old head on him, good genetics. It's gonna be huge one day. Guys, I had so much fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Remember, keep smashing that thumbs up button. Keep getting the comment section. Give us more and more ideas for videos that you want to see out here on the ranch. There's a lot more new content coming, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification enabled. Folks, this is so awesome. Let's. Me and Andrew are about to get back to filming some more stuff because being out here is just so incredible. The stuff never ends. The adventure never ends. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you later.